I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I am famously known for that celebrity interview. Interviews with today's pop icons, movie stars, and celebrities. Tune into our FM radio broadcast and our online broadcast. Visit ValderBeebeShow.com and SoundCloud.com slash ValderBeebeShow. I'll see you there. Good day, Erin Lowry. I want my audience to know I get to talk to the author and personal finance expert, Erin Lowry. She's going to be talking about a majority of the millennials are overwhelmed by finances and they're unable to save money for their future. And I'm sure you guys have millennials in your lives. Erin, welcome to the Valder BB Show. Thanks for having me. All right. Is that true? Is that title true? They can't save money? Unfortunately, it is. This recent survey from Turbo, which comes to you from the makers of TurboTax, did find that only 12% of millennials feel very prepared for their financial futures. Less than half feel like they make enough to both pay the bills and save money. And interestingly, this, this actually gets further compounded by the fact that 7 in 10 millennials do check their credit scores, understand what a credit score is. But a lot of millennials don't feel like that's actually an accurate representation of their financial health. Well, you, I'm going to call you an expert because you wrote uh, the book, Broken Millennial, Stop uh, Scraping By and Get Your Financial Life Together. So you know a lot about this subject. Okay, why are they in this, this, this state of mind in one of the time where our economy is thriving? Well, there are a lot of factors as to why millennials feel overwhelmed. Unfortunately, a big one is the student loan debt situation. A lot of millennials, like you said, the economy is doing well, but wages have not really kept up with inflation as they have in historic terms. So part of it is people are graduating with a lot of student loan debt, and they might be getting jobs, but those jobs could be paying significantly less than they thought. And therefore, this their month-to-month -month situation feels like a break-even at best. That's a mouthful. Okay, so you, TurboTax commissioned this millennial survey. Why did they want to look at this? Did they want to help us educate them? Because that's what you're doing this morning. Yes, so the survey is actually from Turbo, which is a new financial app. It does come from Intuit, the makers of TurboTax. But Turbo is a new financial app that is a first of its kind that gives you a full holistic financial health profile to give you all the information that you need to make informed next steps when it comes to your money. And what it does is it provides you with three big things, and that's your verified IRS filed income, your credit score, and then your debt to income ratio. Why is credit score playing such an uh, important part in their lives and in our lives? Because at one time, credit scores were not even in our, our view. I know credit scores for a while there were a little bit of a black box. We didn't get a lot of access. So now that we do have access, people are kind of fanatical for them. They love checking out their credit scores. They love seeing them change, hopefully for the positive, month to month. And it's it's really easy for people to understand, which is a big reason I think credit scores are so popular. But another important thing about this app is the fact that it brings in your debt to income ratio. It's a much less talked about number, but an incredibly important one because it's a better indicator of how you're living your financial life, whether or not you can take on any more debt and whether or not you're living below your means. Because with that credit score, you could have a 750, 800 plus credit score, but still be in a lot of debt and feel like you're barely making it by month to month. But as long as you're paying those bills on time, you could have a good credit score still. What else did the survey reveal that was surprising to, you know, the creators of it? I think it is very surprising just how few millennials feel like they're in control, that 12%. The other thing is how many millennials don't even want to talk about money. You know, we're a generation that is known for oversharing, but 60% of millennials admitted that they don't want to talk about their financial lives. That could be because they're ashamed of the numbers in their bank accounts or their savings or their investments, or just that they're really embarrassed by past financial decisions. So they might, you know, put this really glamorous life on Instagram, but it's not accurate to how they're feeling financially. 
So what can they do to help themselves? Well, the big thing that you can do is download Turbo. It is a free app that's available to you. And it pulls, like I said, all those numbers together to make those great financial decisions. It also provides you with customized advice, and it gives you a benchmark so you can see how you are standing financially next to other people in a similar life stage. How did you want to write your book, Broken Millennial? So it's Broke Millennial, and it started... Oh, broke, I'm yeah, sorry. <laughs> broken has a whole different connotation. <laughs> but it, it really was about the fact that I felt a lot of financial advice out there wasn't written specifically towards our generation. We have different needs, especially when it comes to student loan debt. So I wanted to offer more information there. But I did also want to come at it from a different angle. The book is very storytelling in nature, and it kind of plays into the fact that millennials are known for having a little bit of ADD. We like to flip around a lot. So each chapter completely is self-contained, st stands on its own in the book, so you can jump around like that as well. I've got a Facebook book post and my uh, poster wants to know, can they see the survey online? You can. You can go to myturbo.com in order to find out more information about the survey as well as the app. Oh, thank you so very much. I really appreciate this. This is a very eye-opening survey. Thank you guys for doing this. Thanks for having me.